what's good youtube it's your girl miss golden 83 and i am here to do a tap into your soul for the sign of cancer okay cancer you guys are again last but not least on the zodiac lineup this week hope you guys are doing well remember you guys these are general messages not personal so take what resonates and pass the rest to the next okay so if you guys are new here, Tap Into Your Souls are basically intuitive readings. Um, we're using the Soul Cards 2 deck by Deborah Kauf Chapman. These are touch drawing illustrations um, on these cards. Okay, there is no booklet. Um, so this is straight intuitive. Okay, if you would like, you can possibly go and grab yourself maybe a piece of paper or a pen. Well, not war pen, but <laughs> you get the message. Um, <laughs> and you can write out how you feel as we're looking at these cards, okay? We're gonna draw three cards, one from the top, one from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle. They are all in reference to certain placements, such as your past, present, and future, okay? We'll look at the bottom of the deck for your overall outcome. You can kind of go ahead and maybe Predetermine what you would like your overall outcome to be based off of the situation you are in currently. Okay, so <clears throat> in doing this, you know, somewhat of a therapeutic like exercise, you can kind of consider it like a journal, okay, um, of healing for yourself, okay, because we will tap into some things that maybe you've been holding back subconsciously, okay, so. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started, okay? So we're taking one directly from the top. This is for your past. One from the bottom, which is for your present. And then we have one energetically from the middle. For your future, okay? And then we'll look at the bottom of the deck for the overall outcome. Okay, we're not going to flip all of these over at one time because that's too much energy to read at once. Okay, um, where there's questions associated with each one of these cards, I want you to take the time to answer those questions honestly. Okay, you can pause and you know look at the card and write down how you feel or answer the question based on how the card, um, the imagery makes you feel. Okay, so let's start with your past. Okay. What held you back in the past, Cancer? Okay, what held you back in your past? Okay. What held you back in the past? As we look at this card, this card has not shown up in quite some time. Okay. I love the colors in this card. It's got green and yellows, um, some gray areas. Okay. As this person is kind of you know, gray a little bit, discolored. There's no real color, but around them, it's very lively, okay? And so, as you look at this card, they're holding a bowl, okay? It's a woman holding a bowl. What held you back in the past, Cancer? Possibly, I feel cancer, what held you back is, like I said, everything around you is growing, nurturing, um, thriving, while you are in the middle, you know, slightly discolored in a sense. That gives me this feeling of you taking care of everything around you, okay? And I feel like that's the, the theme this week between you and a few other signs, so some of those are like Aries, okay, um, Taurus, okay, you may have those placements in your chart, okay, um, so if you like, you can go and look at those, um, tap into your soul readings as well, okay, but you don't have to, um, that might be a little bit much on you, um, it could possibly trigger some things for you, but hopefully it'll trigger in a sense of healing, okay, um, and not so much of debilitating, okay, but nonetheless, back to your past energy of what held you back. Taking care of everyone else, okay? Um, while everything else thrived, um, you were busy, you know, helping everyone else thrive, okay? 
um, in the past, but you really possibly didn't take too much time to cater to yourself, okay? Um, you were pretty much the beacon of hope, possibly, for other people um, without really, again, focusing on yourself. So possibly being a nurturer for everything else around you, but not taking care of you, okay? Um, is is what I'm feeling, all right? So again, you kind of are on the, the cusp of Aries a little bit is what I'm feeling, okay? Let's get into your present, okay? What continues to hold you back presently? What continues to hold you back presently, okay? Very popular within the collective. Take the time to really look at this card and write down how it makes you feel, okay? Be honest with yourself, Cancer, okay? This is a time, this is a safe space for you, wherever you are right now. If, you know, and I, I hope most of the time when anyone is watching these videos, you're watching it in the comforts of your home, you know, and you can actually take the time to write these things out, okay? Um, I literally got the idea today that this reading, you know, if it were me, and I've actually used these cards on myself, where I've actually like kind of journaled how I felt as I looked at the cards and pulled them for my own self, okay? And it's very healing, okay? So in looking at this card, how does it make you feel about what's continuously holding you back, okay? I feel as though cancer, you still deal with possibly holding something within, okay? Um, as far as maybe your feelings towards being there for other people, okay? Um, because you don't want to cause conflict. You don't want to complain because what you do for others is from the kindness of your own heart, okay? Um, you do have a soft spot for people in need, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. It is it is very humbling. It's very, ad very admiring and very ins in inspirational as well, okay? Um, but in doing so, maybe people don't realize you need help too, okay? Um, who's there to help you? Or when you're tired after you've helped everyone else, you have no energy for yourself, okay? And so how often do you really take the time to kind of step back and tap into yourself and give to yourself, okay? In not a materialistic way, in a more emotional and mental stability, okay? There are things that may be triggering you as far as those around you or maybe dealing with a lot um, within your day-to-day -day life and then people interjecting, um, you know, on your personal or infringing on your personal time, okay? So, you're holding things in because you feel like you have to possibly keep this same nurturing, empathetic type of persona when on the inside, you know, it's like, it's stifling, okay? And so you have some truth within you that you want to let out, but, you know, you don't want to feel or make people feel like, you know, you're not who you say you are or who you normally are, okay? If that makes any sense. It's hard for me to really get it out. Um, but I think that's what you're, you're struggling with presently, okay? You have so much within you emotionally where it's so difficult to help other people when you're battling with something internal, okay? And so, again, you're there for everyone else, but no one really knows that you yourself need help, okay? From time to time, you need help, okay? And so, or you need someone to listen to you sometimes, okay? And so I think that's what's currently holding you back, okay? So that being said, let's move forward to your future placement, okay? How will you change your future, Cancer? How will you change your future? So this card <laughs> came out in Aries reading, okay? It came out in their past placement, 
okay? It is in your future placement, okay? This, for you in the future placement, take the time to, you know, write down how you will, how you will change your future or how you want to change your future, okay? Um, as you're looking at this card. I feel as though you want to or will birth a new you in a sense, okay? Um, you could come across an idea um, of how you are able to release what it is that you feel inside. It could be through um, another, like a hobby or something of that nature or a new pursuit, okay? You may pursue something different than what you're doing now. Um, there could be charity work of some sort, okay? But I feel like you're going to birth some form of an idea, okay? Um, this card in Aries had a different meaning to it, okay? Based off of, again, this is intuitive. But you see how this crown and third eye chakra here is kind of like blooming in a sense okay and so this egg shape here this egg that she's holding is again talking about in a sense birthing something okay hatching up something okay and so it could be like i said a new pursuit for you okay um to allow you to release whatever has been burdening you okay and so it could be in the shape of possibly considering therapy. I, Whenever I do these readings, I suggest therapy to everyone, okay? I myself have done it. I've been in therapy or did therapy for at least two years. And uh, considering going back just in case, um, I have some other underlining issues that I would like to get off of me, okay? Um, and so to have a safe space to talk about it you can have like i mentioned in another reading i believe it was in libras uh maybe you can have like a support group of some sort um or a soul tribe you may come across other people that struggle with the same um issues or are just like you very kind-hearted very giving um in also need to have a safe space in releasing you know how hard it is to be uh there for other people when you yourself are struggling okay and so but nobody knows okay so that being said i think that's all we have for that let's go ahead and look at the bottom of the deck for your overall outcome okay And here we have someone playing music, okay? Your pursuit could possibly be music. Music could be what releases you, okay? Music could be what's healing, what can be healing to you, okay? Whether it's learning an instrument, okay? or listening to music. I love listening to music um, at times when I need it the most. Um, just, you know, doing an activity. I could be knitting. I do knit my blankets. Um, and so I could be knitting and just put some music on and I'll put like uh, waterfall images on my TV. And it's very therapeutic just for as long as I feel like knitting or listening to music for. And I just listen to what I'm energetically guided to listen to, okay? But for some of you, you could be on the verge of pursuing music as a new career, okay? Or creating music um, to help you heal, okay? And get those inner thoughts out, okay? Um, whether or not people take it for what it is, or it could possibly heal others, okay? Um, definitely music is something that everyone can relate to in any shape, form, or fashion, okay? It is a form of art, okay, in my opinion. 
okay? And so if that is what you are guided to do, cancer, by all means, do that, okay? But it's any form of music is what I feel um, will be very healing to you. Like I said, either you're going to be creating music or you should start listening to music or an instrument of some sort is going to be learned um, on how to play it, okay? Whatever is going to be therapeutic to you, but it is involving music, okay? So, Cancer, that's all I have for you guys this week. Um, this is your last reading for the month until next month, okay? If you know your birth chart placements, by all means, feel free to look at those readings. Hopefully, you have watched your readings for this week to see the change in your energy, okay? Um, we did have, I think, for all the signs this week, um, a little bit of different energies here and there because people have found out their birth chart placements, okay? And so everybody got a little bit of everything, I think, in every reading. But this one, I think, is specific to um, possibly the whole Cancer Collective or one in particular, okay? Um, and so for me, if it resonates with one, that's all I need, okay? And hopefully these readings help with your healing, okay? So that being said, Cancer, until next time, peace.